What's up folks, it's Dan here from BeGameCharacter.com where we turn games into games and today we are visiting the Mortal Kombat universe with the Scorpion Workout. Now, the Scorpion Workout is a workout that's going to be designed to give you a good amount of strength as well as a good amount of muscle. Now, Scorpion is not, you know, huge, he's not built like, you know, the Hulk or whatever, but he is pretty strong and he is pretty big by human terms, so we're going to be using weights and uh, we're going to be going with sort of a half strength, half uh, bodybuilding type workout. Uh, we are going to be covering just the strength workout here on the video channel. Uh, if you want the cardio workout, which there is a cardio portion of this workout as well, uh, you can go check it out over on BeAGameCharacter.com. The full write-up is going to be linked in the description below, as well as in the annotations at the end of the video. So uh, I definitely recommend you go and check out the full write-up, because cardio is definitely a portion, and also there's lots of other additional notes and little you know tips and tricks in there as well. So check it out after you watch the video. Uh, again, links down below or at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get into the Scorpion Strength Workout. For Scorpion Strength Workout A, we're going to start with five sets of five dumbbell bench presses, then three sets of eight dumbbell overhead presses, three sets of eight dumbbell flies, three sets of eight dumbbell side raises, and three sets of ten Russian twists, and you can throw weight on these when they start to get easy. Strength Workout A is obviously lots of pushing motions. The idea here is to develop your punching power and strength, which is where we also work in the Russian twists, so you get that rotational force from your obliques and your abs. Uh, what you want to do with this one is generally work at a weight that allows you to leave maybe one or two reps in the bank when you're done, but not a whole lot more. All right? You don't want to fail on your reps, but you want to get relatively close to it. You want to finish your sets feeling like, okay, yeah, maybe I could have done another rep or two on that, but not much more than that. All right, and then once you start to get to the point where it starts to get easier, obviously you add more weight. For Scorpion Strength Workout B, we're gonna start with five sets of five back squats with the barbell, three sets of eight weighted lunges, and you can use either with dumbbells or a barbell, three sets of eight deadlifts, five sets of five hang cleans, and three sets of 10 weighted calf raises. Again, you can do these with a dumbbell set or a barbell. Now, Strength Workout B is geared towards lower body, obviously, uh, both your anterior and posterior chain from your waist down. It's, generally speaking, designed to build strength, again, for striking and punching. Uh, I love weighted lunges for that. Uh, deadlifts and hang cleans are more for pulling motions, i.e., you know, hey, get over here, kind of a thing. And uh, the weighted calf raises are just for an explosive movement when we're in combat. A lot of movement in combat comes from the calves, actually not the quads or, you know, the, the glutes or the hammies or anything like that. Mainly from calves because we're exploding from one foot to the other. So the, the weighted calf raises help to develop strength so we can, you know, explode faster and further. And generally speaking, most striking power in martial arts also comes from the lower body. Working at your upper body muscles is obviously part of the deal, but if you're not engaging your lower body and your core when you're striking, then you're not actually, you know, maximizing the force you deliver. So, lower body, when it comes to developing striking strength, is actually more important than upper body training. And that's it for the Scorpion Strength Workout. Like I said, there was a cardio portion of this as well. The Strength Workout is relatively simple and straightforward. I like to keep them like that just because it's easier to remember and uh, easier to progress. The cardio workout comes in two portions as well. There's an A and a B, so uh, they filter in. As far as how the schedule goes, uh, for a seven day schedule, for day one, you're gonna do the strength workout A. For day two, you're gonna do cardio workout A, and then on day three, you're gonna rest. For day four, you're gonna do strength workout B. Day five would be cardio workout B. And then day six, you're gonna do strength workout A again. And on the seventh day, you're again going to rest. So you get two rest days, you get one strength workout B, you get two strength workout A, you get one of the cardio A and one of the cardio B. Uh, if you want to, you can throw in another day of lifting if you would like to, or another day of cardio. Uh, if lifting, I would recommend another strength workout B, maybe on day seven or something like that. If cardio, I would recommend cardio workout A, okay? Again, if you want to see what the cardio workouts are, you can go ahead and check those out down in the link below for the full write-up or at the end of the video. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye. Listen!